Premier Christian Radio. Well, we would call each other friends. I knew him long before he became president. The Dreams of My Father book that is now very famous, he once gave me a copy and said, nobody will ever read this, but I want you to have a copy. So I knew him as a young man uh, when he wasn't very famous and we maintained our relationship. Uh, he listens to faith leaders and we sometimes challenge him. We, we, we want to support him to do the right thing and sometimes challenge him to, you know, to uh, make poverty more of a priority and immigration and to resolve conflicts in a different way than always uh, doing military strikes. So I, I think he listens. I think he, he is a person of faith, clearly. Uh, he's a praying man. He talks about how Lincoln spoke of being driven to his knees by this job of the presidency, and certainly he, he's had that same experience, and, and I, I know he's, this is a terribly difficult job, tremendous pressure, and it's made him more of a praying man than even he was before. He wasn't raised in a Christian home and family. He was, it was an adult conversion, and, uh, but I was, there was a faith council he had for his first year, and now as a second one. I was on that first faith council with many other faith leaders as well. But he does pay attention, and we all make sure that there's a, a prophetic voice. Uh, I've been arrested outside the White House in times past, meetings inside the White House, both. The key is to have the same message in both places. Uh, 